Hi everyone, so this video is a video showing you guys the wig that I made. And this is also an update on the hair that I purchased off of Rosa's Hair Products, off of AliExpress. So yeah, this is the wig that I made out of that hair. Um, the bundles, it's 28, 28, 20 inches, 18 inches, 16 14 and a 12 inch closure that I also purchased off of AliExpress through a different vendor. So that's all the hair on this wig. The only amount of hair that remained was this amount. So that was left back and yeah, so this is the hair. Um, I washed the hair yesterday and I shampooed it, deep conditioned it, and had it on my mannequin head sitting to air dry. And I just put it on today to do this makeup tutorial. I didn't put any products or anything in the hair because I know I was coming to do an update video about the hair. So I wanted to show you guys the hair in its natural state. The only thing I started to do is put some edge control right in the front of my hair. I didn't put on this side because I want to show you guys how I usually, you know, do that. So, yeah. So this is the hair as you can see. Like I said, no products is in the hair. This is the hair in its natural state. I am 5, 8 inches. So, let me show you guys where the hair. So, the hair reaches me like right under my boob area. Yeah. Um, so, let's talk about this hair. So far, I have not experienced any tangling, any shedding. I probably lost probably two or three um, strands of hair for the most, which to me is really not bad because realistically, our natural hair, we lose hair every day. So losing two or three strands of hair off of this hair to me is not a huge deal. Once it's not falling out like in chunks or matting up or anything like that, I really don't see any much of a huge um, concern. So, I am in love, in love, in love with this hair. As you can see, I can slide my fingers through the hair with ease and no tangling, no nothing. This is a little over a week now that I'm wearing the hair. So I would not say this is a full review because I don't think you could give a proper review wearing hair for like one week. So I will come back probably in three weeks time to do a proper thorough update review on this hair. Because I have not used any heat or anything like this on this hair. So I can't tell you guys, you know, if it holds a curl properly, if it straightens, if when the hair gets wet it bounces back, you know, all those good stuff. So this is just, like I said, a quick update to let you guys know how I'm enjoying the hair so far and how the hair is managing. I am loving it so far, like I said. Um, no problems so far. The only thing that I put in the hair is this little concussion that I made. And let me explain what I have in here. I put a little bit of my Aveda Brilliant Conditioner. And I placed probably about this much, if so much. So I placed some of that in there. And this is like a moisturizing um, conditioner. So it helps retain moisture. And also, I put like about three drops of my Bio Silk as well in here. And then I just fill the rest with water. I shake the bottle up. And that's all that I use on the hair. And um, the hair is really soft. It really don't need like much products on the hair. Like you, as you can see the hair, it's really, really nice. Really nice. Yeah, so that's all that I usually put in the hair. So, also for the closure, um, this is a middle part closure. And I did not like how it looked with the middle part because there was like a piece that keep like 
falling over on this side and it was really really giving me like some problems so I decided to do a side part and then I also went ahead and I did a bit of um, tweezing to kind of make the part look a little more realistic so yeah that's what I've been doing what I've been up to um, for my edge control I use this is the Afida control paste so I'm just going to put a little bit and this is what it looks like I'm just going to take a little bit of that and show you guys how I am and this stuff is so great it really keeps your edges in place like for the entire day and what I also like about it is when you're combing it out it don't leave like any white residue or any flaky stuff or anything like that so this is all that I usually do take a little bit more And as you can see, it, it applies like a kind of creamy. It applies with this creamy look, but once you start to brush it in, it blends in and it disappears. So I just use like a toothbrush and I just brush the hair down. I always just leave out about this amount of hair and this amount to blend into the front to give a little more of a natural look so yeah this is what I usually do and as you can see it lays pretty flat I used to use this thing from Kerastas I think they call it I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correct and this works really nice as well but the thing with this is I have oily combination to oily skin and what this used to do is melt and then my whole forehead used to be a greasy mess so I stopped using that but so far I am loving this and this is something that one of my good friends her mom gave me I think she works for the company and she gave me this to try and so far I am really loving it it dries in a kind of a somewhat matte yeah it dries and it leaves like a nice matte look so it's nothing too shiny going on there and like I said it stays in place until you are ready to um, comb, it out, comb it out sorry so what else can I say? Oh, let me spray a little bit of this concussion on the hair so you guys can see how the hair. But honestly, I wouldn't really put anything, you know, unless the hair is a bit more puffy. But this is how it really stays after I shampoo and deep condition it and leave it to air dry. This is how it looks. But I just want to put this concussion to show you guys how the hair brush and pass that through the hair and as you can see the, the brush is just sliding through the hair with no problems so this method this this concussion helps keep the hair from getting poofy as you can see it kind of like toned it down a bit so yeah so this is just my quick review on the hair letting you guys know exactly how the hair has been behaving I also made a wig with the the Brazilian natural straight hair that I also purchased off of Rosa's hair company and this is it here I've been still like tweezing to get 
this closure to lay down as flat as possible because to me I find it was really puffy and do not look natural so that's what I've been doing with this. I will include um, a clip showing you guys how I tweeze the closure. So this is the hair and this is the 16 inches the 2 14 inches, the 12 and the 10 inch closure. And this is the Brazilian Virgin Natural Straight here. So. Yeah, so that's it guys. Like I said, I will come back and do a proper Toro updated review on these two wigs because I will be wearing that other wig as well and um, yeah give you guys an update on how that how the wigs are behaving so with that being said hope you guys enjoy this little quick update and thanks for viewing and stay tuned for my upcoming videos bye